Right, welcome back, everybody. Time now for aging and style. And, you know, and I'm not quite sure if you are aware of a comprehensive center right here in Connecticut that specifically takes care of the geriatric population in our state. Yeah, you're talking about the Geriatrics and Healthy Aging Program at UConn? Absolutely. And I recently paid the kind folks there a visit, and I was simply wowed by the services they have to offer. Take a look. When it comes to the care of the older population here in Connecticut, there's no better place to be than at Yukon in Farmington, 21 South Road to be exact. That's where you're gonna find the Yukon Center on Aging. Today, we're gonna talk to four individuals, each with their own specialty, to learn more about this amazing geriatrics and healthy aging program. We're going to start with Dr. Eileen Pangelinen, a geriatrician with Yukon. A geriatrician helps you with the aging process okay. as you navigate the complexities of aging. Um, you get faced with many issues and we are trained to address those issues from a preventive standpoint. Um, and it's also important to note that prevention is not just preventing something to happen, but if you already have those issues, mm. how do you prevent complexities or how do you prevent those issues from worsening? That's what we kind of take care of as a geriatrician. Which is really kind of wonderful to have somebody on your side in terms of getting older. Right. Um, what, what type of complexities would we see? What mm -hmm. type of issues would we encounter? Right. With when we age, the most important thing that I noticed that adults really value is keeping their independence. So the issues that you are faced that threat and that independence is uh, are really the main things that our older adults are worried about. So this can be memory losses, hearing loss, vision loss. So it's more of functional losses. Making sure that you age gracefully and healthily. Is my bone healthy? Um, and and uh, the other issues that they can face is uh, losing control. Their, of their bodily fun functions, such mm. as their bowel and bladder. Speaking of bone health and bladder health, let's move on. Next, we're talking with Lauren Brennan. She's a nurse practitioner here at UConn. She's talking about bladder health. So I work in urology, which focuses on issues with the kidneys and bladder, but I primarily focus on issues with the bladder. So anything from you know incontinence or trouble making it to the bathroom on time or frequent urination, infections. As you get older, unfortunately, this becomes more of a problem. Is that right? Yeah, it's something that we kind of take for granted when we're younger, um, but we know that as people age, a majority of people will start to complain about some type of bladder symptom. And uh, w w what happens when they come here? What, are they, what, what happens? So that really varies. Um, and so it's one thing I want people to know is not to be afraid. So sometimes I get a lot of patients that feel nervous mm -hmm. to come see me because they're worried about invasive testing and procedures. But really what we're going to discuss first dictates the rest of what we do. So it's an interview, a discussion, um, and then I usually do you know an examination. But that depends on your comfort level. OK. And is, is there a medical help for people with incompetence? Yeah. Incontinence? So we, it really depends on the underlying issue. It's not a one-size-fits-all treatment. Um, so it's, sometimes it's as simple as dietary modifications, physical therapy. We also have a whole host of pharmacology options, so medications. Um, and then at UConn, we also offer advanced therapies, so surgeries and other types of therapies if they're appropriate. When should people start to come see you? I think if you have a symptom that's impacting your quality of life. You might also come take advantage of the geriatric and healthy aging program here at UConn if you're having trouble with your bones. That's when you'd come and see April Yvette McConnor. She's a board certified family nurse practitioner. Well, as we age, um, we see age related changes with our bones um, and our bones get weaker um, with aging. Um, the aging population can be a little more fragile with um, more health problems um, than when we're 50s. Mm -hmm. um, so we have to take care of um, our bones to make sure we maintain our uh, independence and we continue to live independently with minimal maybe outside help and uh, maintain our strength and functionality. What are people going to experience when they come here to this particular uh, unit? This location is convenient because uh, the geriatric population will have all of their services in one location. Mm -hmm. So they can come, they don't have to move about the campus uh, too much, the, their labs can be done here. Uh, they can see their primary doctors here, they can also see their specialists here in one location. What, when is it time to see you? 
Well, for women, um, we usually see them around the postmenopausal timeline. Um, men are a little bit different. Uh, Medicare allows them a screening around Medicare timeline, but sometimes we meet them earlier if they have a fracture. And last but not least, you can come and visit with Dr. Tina Correa. She's a vascular surgeon. So um, my job is to prevent a lot of really bad things happening to our older patients. So I work with limb preservation. I help maintain um, patients' independence and, and ability to walk and preserve their limbs to live at home. Um, I help with stroke, uh, de decreasing stroke risk. Mm. Um, I also work with varicose veins, which can be uh, unsightly and also very uncomfortable for yep. some of our patients. Um, and I also work with aneurysm uh, detection and uh, repair. Oh, that's fascinating that you can actually detect that. Yeah, so a lot of uh, people don't know that, like the recommendations for breast cancer screening and colon cancer screening, there are recommendations for abdominal aortic screening as well. So men between the ages of 65 and 75 who've ever smoked in their lifetime should have a one-time ultrasound um, to look for abdominal aneurysms. And abdominal once... aneurysms. Correct. Dr. Correa, along with everyone I spoke to, just loves what she does and loves this center here at UConn. Well, I love making patients feel better. Um, if I can preserve limbs, if I can help somebody stay at home, living at home and walking around their house and able to walk to the mailbox and get their mail, that is a great day for me. If you would like to learn more about the geriatrics and healthy aging program at the Yukon Center on Aging, please visit their website. It is health.yukon.edu slash aging. What so a great important. place. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's such wonderful people over it there too. Looks